Hello YouTube, Steve here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I built this 200 watt standalone multi-room Wi-Fi audio system. This system can be cover up to 10 rooms. This video is not going to cover any sound test or configuration steps. This video is only going to cover build video. If you are excited about sound test, I'm really sorry about that. I'll make separate video about that. Make sure you like this video and get subscribed to this channel to get latest update. Before we start, a quick shout out to a sponsor of today's video. JLC PCB are the world largest PCB manufacturer. They offer 2 layer, 4 layer, 6 layer and SMT stencil. Upload your Gerber file today and get your first 10 PCB just for $2. Processing time is only 48 hours and shipping time is also very quick. I made few PCB with JLC PCB. You can see the PCB quality. It's just mind blowing and I only paid $2. Welcome back to the project. I used a 24 volt AC to DC converter TPA 3116D2 class D amplifier. A high pass filter, I will talk about this later on this video. A Wi Fi audio module, I will also talk about this later in this video. Two pieces of DC to DC 5 volt isolated SMPS. A DC to DC step down converter. A box of PCB standoffs for supporting the enclosure and two acrylic sheet for making the enclosure. You will find all the part list with purchasing link in the description below you can check it out.
amp is almost completed. You can just plug the power and a little bit of Wi-Fi setup using your phone and an app and you are done. Now back to the Wi-Fi module and high pass filter. First talking about Wi-Fi module. This is called up to stream. This is basically a Wi-Fi audio receiver. It can stream music from your cell phone, tablet or PC by using Wi-Fi. It can stream very high quality lossless music file via Wi-Fi such as FLAC, web music file with 24 bit 192 kilohertz supported. You can find more about it in the description below. Now talking about this high pass filter. This is basically a bass cutter. It will not let any lower frequency to pass through. It is not necessary to use. I am using this just because I am going to use small speakers. They can't handle lower frequency. You can build this PCB using JLC PCB service. I have also made a dedicated video about that. You can check the description for more information. Later I am going to do a sound test and configuration setup video. Stay tuned for that. That's all for today's guys. Hope you like this video. Please like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for next video.